WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento, mid-afternoon update for TFNN, and you're going to find this hard to believe, folks. Stocks are higher again, ninth day in a row. Haven't seen this happen since Hector was a pup, and that dog's getting pretty old, as you well know. I posted the chart here of the Dow Jones Industrial Average futures on the monthly chart. And if you want to see an amazing, absolutely amazing forecast, I'm going to show it to you at the break when we come up with our regular shows trade what you see I kept it I've had it in there for a long time it's always been in the back of my mind and today I remembered it and so we're gonna bring it up and show you uh, what it is it was truly an amazing forecast and we have a caller coming in is that possible hold on what's going on uh oh now the wrong screen is sharing let's see what we got here I sometimes do that you know the old technical difficulties that the cowboy has. I'm going to get up here and get into the screens and click this, and I think we'll be okay from now on. Al, let me know that we're looking at the uh, Dow Jones on the monthly chart now, and the folks can see that. Look at that price over there. We just hit 37902 just a few minutes ago. And uh, I'm going to show you it. <laughs> I was really, you know, I was not surprised. I knew it was there. That number had been in my mind for a long time. And for some reason, it popped up today. I want to go over some of these things that we're looking at today because for the first time in the history of my trading, which is 62 years, I can honestly say we are never going down in stocks again. I can say that with 100 degree certainty. And as you know, 100 degree always works in these markets, as we know. We're going to take a little break here, and we come back. I'm going to share you this forecast that a uh, very prominent person made many, many years ago, and we'll see what it looks like, okay? That'll be fun. Anyway, I'd like to give him credit where credit is due, for sure. Let's move on, and we'll see what we have with the time frame here. we got 40 seconds left. Uh, our guest tomorrow uh, is going to be... Uh, Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, because we've had this big move in the market for crude oil, which we've been fortunate enough to latch on to. And we'll be talking about it in just a little bit. We'll be right back, folks. 